Secondly, in all the humility, I am an associate professor at the University of Ghana. I'm a cell biologist and a pharmacist. So I want to believe that I'm in the middle of friends and family. And usually when people who are politically inclined say that, it means what they are coming to say is not nice. So they are begging. So permit me to convert in true scientific fashion my 10 minute statement into a 10 minute scientific exercise during which for deliberate effect I'll try to be an agent provocateur with a view to moving us from our comfort zones towards the real issues confronting Ghana today. In so doing, I will touch on briefly on issues that are challenging, uncomfortable, maybe controversial, but definitely necessary. I think the Americans have a saying, the elephant in the room. And I think over here, the elephant in the room cannot be ignored. I want to thank the organizers for inviting me, and I want to thank them for the theme, which is GSE at 60, promoting science, technology, and innovation for sustainable growth and development. So as the Ghana Science Association celebrates its 60th anniversary, the research question I want to pose, and which I hope might lend itself to scientific resolution in the next eight minutes, is framed in the form of a harmless null hypothesis. And this is the research, this is the hypothesis I'm proposing. That the investments Ghana has made in science and technology have not yielded commensurate impact in terms of jobs, economic emancipation, and national development. Should I repeat the research question so that you begin to ask what methods I'll use to address it? I think I'll repeat it. It's my null hypothesis that the investments Ghana has made in science and technology have not yielded commensurate impact in terms of jobs, economic emancipation, and national development. And this question will be interrogated in various ways. But for the sake of time, I will choose a very mixed approach. I will use both the quantitative method and the qualitative method. And for the sake of time, I will not give any references. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the GSC, the biggest issues confronting Ghana is in the area of jobs, jobs, and jobs. One only has to be a chief executive officer of a state agency or a bigger person like a minister of state, or a government appointee, or indeed anybody perceived to be influential, to feel the stress. One will have to be completely inhumane not to see and share the anxiety, helplessness, fear, worry, and doubts felt by well-trained and trainable young men and women, who are Ghanaians. On a daily basis, they come to our offices. Some cry, some are crying. I mean, you can see desperation and worry. The uncertainty on their faces is heart-wrenching. And they are desperate to cling on to hope. If you say, oh, you come next week, there are no jobs. They cling on to next week. The reality of our current situation is that science technology and innovation have not kept pace in job creation commensurate with the growth of our population. That is the stark reality facing us. And so, we have not created the jobs needed for our brothers and sisters, our sons and daughters. And Honorable Minister, the biggest challenge I face is even in the area of national service placements. Yesterday, my director of administration tells me, oh, people have been posted here, we don't have space. So I called the person, I said, wait a minute. You have a brother and a sister who has left school. Government has paid for the one to do something. 
and you say there's no space, <laughs> then you go on and break up. I mean, I find it unacceptable. I find it irresponsible. If we, the scientists here, will turn back people whom government is paying in terms of human resource, because we are not willing to be creative or to move from our comfort zone, then Ghana is in trouble. I mean, there is absolutely no excuse. They say for intention. People beg for intention. If you can't create intentions and you can't take them for service, then job, you won't forget it. Then bless you. But I believe that the men and women here can make a difference. So I have only three issues to put to the table as I address my law hypothesis. Issue one. I make a comment that we are looking at whether the investments are led to what we need. So the first question is, is government making, or rather, or in addition, is higher education, are the scientists allowing 